hello guys today's video is about how to create new position in employee central success factors first uh, we'll see what is a position so in the organizational structure comprises of organizational unit position person so these are the objects so for example organizational unit can be a department an accounts department or a HR department and there are posi positions so the position can be account manager executive deputy manager these are the positions and the position is occupied by person so this comprises of the comprises of organization structure so these are the types ways how you can create a position the first is manage data second is manage position third is org chart the fourth one is import and export data. The first three ways I will be showing you today for creating position that is manage data, manage positions and org chart. So let's see how to create a new position. Now we will see the first option that is how to create position using manage data. Now, since we are creating a new position, we'll go with here, type position, select, so these, this is position and job details, so here you can see position code field is not seen because the position number will be defaulted after we save this so the date is already defaulted here now we have to select the job code so I'm creating a position for account manager I'm selecting this so the fields marked with asterisk are mandatory fields so I'm filling the fields which are mandatory I'm giving a name to the position then comes FTE that is whether this is a full time employee I'm entering one because I want to assign one employee to this position then there is parent position so what is parent position so when you if you are you are the position you are creating you have to assign it to a parent position so I'm selecting account manager here so this will be the this is the parent position for the position I will be creating now to be hired so whether this position will be assigned to an employee or not if not you select no since I have to assign this position to a new employee I'm selecting yes then comes regular or temporary so I have selected here regular since this is a regular position not a temporary or part-time 
status will be active then these are the fields regarding the organization which includes the company business unit division department location and cost center these are already there in the system you will select them and you can save this So a workflow is initiated here. Currently, I'm not uh, making any video on workflow. When I make video on workflow, I will be explaining this. So here you can see create position PO underscore three double zero one double two five. So this position has been created, and they're asking for approval for this position. I'm clicking confirm here so you can see the position has been created this is the position code which is generated in case you want to make any changes to this position which is created you can go here in the history tab take action and make correction you can also permanently delete this entry so this is the new position which I have created I have currently not assigned any company business unit division department you can enter it and save so this uh, we created this new position using manage data now the second option was manage positions click on manage positions so you can see the page is similar to the manage data so here you select create new and position so this is the same page fields relate similar to manage data see here manage data position code to matrix positions position code to matrix positions so you can create using manage positions and the third type was third type was op chart when I type op chart here you can see view op chart click on this we go to position op chart now what you can do is you can see uh, position is already present here 10143 and what you can do is you can either copy this position and create a new position so for that what you do is click on this you can see these three bars here click on this and you can either add a lower level position to this that means this position will be the parent position for the position you will be creating and or you can click on copy position to copy the same position here you can see this position has this position is vacant so it is showing 0 root of 1 you can also add employee by clicking this so these are the three types for creating new position for an employee this is the end of the video thank you